All right, everybody, thanks again for joining us. We're moving into the final match. This is the finals of the Black Moon Squadron League tournament. We got Ray on the right side and Eric on the left side. So I'm going to bring up these lists and we can go over them. So we've got Eric here on the left with his Lorik, Selflessness, and Ray. Uh, Biggs with R2, D2, Integrated Astromech. And Miranda Doni with Twin Laser Turret, Bonlet Generator, and Sabine Wren for a 99-point list. Uh, uh, and then we've got Ray on the right side with Ahsoka Tano. Full load on Ray, Veteran Instincts, Capture Tie, Sabine's Master Base, Thermal Detonator, and Sabine Wren. Uh, Biggs Dark Lighter in there with Swarm Tactics, R2-D6, and Integrated Astromech. Rort Garnet, Twin Laser Turret, Vectored Thrusters, Moldy Crow, and Knee Numb. And then Captain Rex with nothing but his mustache. And I mean that literally, Rex is naked in that pilot uh, compartment right now. There's, there's an image for you, folks. Is it not integrated on? That's what I said. Rex. I, I do the same. I'll, uh, I'll say Rex, but think Biggs and th say Biggs and think Rex. So. Think Rex. Think Rex. Yeah. Big Rex. He's Big Rex. He's big, big Rex. Oh my God. <laughs> I can just see like a 150 point game with like uh, Hayden, a Shotgun Bart, Rex, Biggs, and then like. And Lorik. Oh, uh, Rourke to boost. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> What's the, what's the That's like the definition of a negative place, right? Like, for the, yeah, for your opponent? Yeah. Alright, so this round, as you guys can see, the timer is set to a little longer time. We, we're pushing this one late into the afternoon here. Hour and a half. 90 minutes. Yeah, there's, there's no run in the clock like Ray loves to do. Dude, you you hum and haw over your maneuver so hard sometimes. Yeah, that's that's called running the clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the background noise, guys. It, we are in a large uh, store with a lot of other players going on. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are two minutes from game start here, from timer start. Look at all those big asteroids. Look at them big asses. Droids. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, how can you run the clock if the clock hasn't even started, man? You better double check that on the side there. Strategies with this asteroid placement? I think the strategy is get him down as fast as possible. <laughs> Keep him tight, obviously, because it's easier for him to maneuver his ships through than it's going to be to for Ray to keep his ships um, chunked up together and get through. And that's key to Ray's list is keeping everybody close to base. Might be a little close there, Ray. Yeah. 
There we go. Some really tight rock placement there. How many hands does it need to place a rock? Apparently four. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. May the force be with you. Um, I think currently they are, well, they're both undefeated right now, because that's how they get here. Uh, quite a few, actually. Eric actually uh, has been doing really well in the last little while. Um, recent store championship winner, and uh, has done very well in just about every uh, tournament he's entered this year. Um, Ray also placing quite quite well. You, you, you did go undefeated at Stardust, that's true. Yes, that's right. You were the you were the store champ winner before Eric was. Yeah. Nope, not enough. Not enough MOV. Not enough MOV there, Ray. You're giving giving up too much, man. All right, next time you're a judge, buddy. <laughs> The tournament I won was the one where nobody showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yay, default! Yeah. Default, my two favorite words, man. Default winner. My only with tournament win. Is Gauntlet Games having an official tournament yet? Or anything like that? What's that? Is Gauntlet Games having an official tournament yet? Or? Not yet. They have had a uh, hard time bringing the kits in because you got to order a bunch in advance. So uh, maybe for fourth quarter uh, they'll have an official tourney kit. Because I thought they had one with uh, Vader and Luke. For I don't know if they actually received that yet. I know they were looking at doing it, but I didn't. I don't remember seeing it come up as a tournament. So. I thought they already had it. Yeah, I'd love to play it. So. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, good luck. Yep. Zena will be all over the chat. I'm sure. <laughs> going to be all over the chat. Yeah. Happy. Good. All right. Hey, guy. Uh, we get 10 people on YouTube. Yep. Let me give up mine. Yes, you must stand in discomfort. There we go. First round movement happening here. Is it wrestling match now? Dang, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a chair match. Sorry. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. I did. I didn't get your fast one, though. I know there's one waiting for me. I haven't played Magic in over a year, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, oh, oh. The rules haven't changed. Now that Josh has joined us, I think we should just uh, dig it down and find out all those secrets for Stardust 2. <laughs> Black Moon 2? Black Moon 2? 
So yeah, se- second season of Black Moon League it will be starting up in a little while, but yeah. Uh, can sure we can hear both of us. There you go. So there you go. Now now you got both of us on the mic. So uh, stick us here, of course, giving you regular commentary. And the other red five. Recently eliminated. Recently eliminated. Can you hear? I can hear salt. I hear salt there. (laughs) (laughs) So, looks like he's got some tight formation. Eric got some tight formation going on there. So, we just saw the uh, the resilience of Eric's squad here. Oh, yeah. Crazy tough. And then Miranda's there for... Just the versatility, keeping people from getting behind you. Yep. It really covers the weaknesses of uh, a squad that you might be familiar with, uh, Fair Ship Rebel. Yep. Which features Lowrick, Biggs, Jess Pava, and Rex. Yep. Yeah, it's, that's actually one of my favorite Rebel lists right now. So I think Eric did a really good job just analyzing what... Uh, what people might bring and just planning efficiently. Yeah, I agreed. Very, very much so. And then uh, Ray here. Do you want to talk about what Ray's doing here? Yeah, so Ray's got... Uh, man, he's he, he's basically got uh, a list that lets him bring two PS12 ships to bear, which uh, can be really brutalizing, as you saw earlier in, uh, in the day here. So he's got, uh, of course, Ahsoka... Uh, with the captured tie so that uh, he can give some uh, extra actions going on there. Gives uh, Rex or Biggs some really good action economy. And then, of course, he's using Rourke to boost Biggs up. And then Biggs uses Swarm Tactics then, of course, to boost somebody else up. And you end up with two ships shooting... uh, Yeah, it usually ends up being Rex. You end up with two ships uh, shooting at PS12, which... uh, Really, really tough to deal with, even against, uh, even when you you bring a good ace list for it. So I think the uh, the kind of weaknesses that Ray's squad has here with these heavy hitters in the combat phase, yeah, or early shooters, is the maneuverability of other ships. Yeah, I mean so, those the two the two Tie Fighters got crazy good dial, but of course Biggs and Rourke would get left behind if they started getting too nuts. Is there a scavenger crane on a Sokotano? There is a scavenger crane on the Sokotano. Why is it not showing? That's interesting. So there is supposed to be a scavenger crane on there as well. I'm not sure why. Interesting. So how many points is Ahsoka? Well, here, I'll check. Hold on just a second here. Hold on. Is that... I've never used an airbrush, but I think I might do it. There's probably someone watching who's already figured it out and they're just waiting for us to... Yeah, oh, look at that. For some reason, it didn't add it on there. I'll fix that up for us. There we go. And then... Uh, and then capture time. Yeah. yeah. So... The that, readout, puts him, that puts him back to 100, which is where yeah, he should. So the, the readout of the points was correct, with 27 points. Yeah. We're just missing the fact that he has the scavenger crane. Exactly. So the, the really cool thing about putting scavenger crane on a Sabine bombing, uh, captured tie, better than instincts, I just love that. Ahsoka Tano, Crazy. <laughs> is you're covered by bigs. Yep. So you don't care shooting early on in the game because you lose your captured tie, but as soon as Biggs dies, you're in range to get it back if you want it. Exactly. And you can fly it right at anyone who's lower pilot skill than you. Yep. And just drop bombs. 
four and yeah. put them in or they want like to yeah, yeah, it might be. Or whatever. You know what I mean? It's, we, we did it so people would come up and play. So that should now be showing Scavenger Crane on Ahsoka. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it was weird that the points were correct, but it wasn't showing the scavenger crane for some reason. So, so I really think that Eric has an edge here. Because of a combination of Miranda's uh, 360 turret ability. Yep. As well as Lorik's auxiliary firing arc. Yeah, it gives him really good ability to maneuver and keep arc and keep shot. Because Ray had to deploy Rourke and Captain Rex first, yep. Eric is able to deploy in such a way that he denies him the joust. And then with all these big rocks on the field, it's going to be hard for Ray to really bring all of his guns to bear. Exactly. The fact that there's such a tight grouping of rocks in there, it's going to be really difficult for him to uh, to uh, keep those together. Do you guys want to comment on what we should do next round? <laughs> I think I think Lorik should hard fly turn directly the right. off the board. Yeah. Perfect strategy. Normally I'll see it coming. It would make Dash feel better. Hi Jay, welcome back. Oh, and yep, yeah, Biggs flying up in there to get a bump. Doesn't matter, this early in the game. Sometimes you just need to get that bump so you can get up close and keep it tight to everybody. Though, so, having this opportunity to uh, build up focus on Rourke. Yeah, yeah it's kind of uh, very influential that way. But Moldy Crow is essentially, I, I imagine most players now are more familiar with the Ray card than Moldy Crow. <laughs> just because they, they see it a lot more. Yeah. And it's the new hotness. Yeah. But the Moldy yeah. Crow is essentially a much better Ray. Uh, true. Because you don't have to bank focus tokens and you can't put them forget. away and take them back out. They're, they're just, just there. They're just always on your ship and you can use as many of them in a turn as you want. Yeah. So while, while Lorik <laughs> is banking focus on Ray... Yes, Jay, that, this has been the shortest 15-minute break in Geek Tech history because it was actually 15 minutes. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on this guy. Yep. Or else he's gonna make my tournaments less rounds than they, yep. than they need to be. Well, aren't tournaments supposed to be four days long? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> not, not if you have kids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm in the midst of the quarterfinals of basically any tournament, and I'll get a text from my wife telling me that the house has exploded. And uh, you that know, sounds about the, right. the tradition is held true today. Oh, good. Uh, the house was exploding again. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, the washing machine this time. Oh God, no. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I have a duty to perform. Yep. Yep. You got work waiting for you now. Yep. You should pull their alliance and see who they're going to pick for winning this match. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, based on what you guys have seen previously and the strength of these two lists, uh, who do you guys predict is going to come out on top? So, keep in mind that uh, both of these players are very seasoned local tournament players. Ray uh, holds several tournament wins, as well as going undefeated to take second place at the latest local tournament yeah the Stardust Series Stardust Series was a wonderful tournament you guys can see the uh, st uh, see the uh, archive of that on our channel we've uh, broken all the matches out we raised a lot of money for charity it was, and it was a great tournament fantastic good times and right now we're at Everything Games in Langford uh, which is the only game store in town out of four that stock X-Wing that actually bought the Stark Championship kit this yep. year and Eric uh, facing right across the board, is our most recent local store champion. Yep. He, he so, has always a, been a competitive player. 
So each of these and, players. Uh, Except for my loser. Uh, well, everybody's got to do that at least once. Even then, you you, know, you give it your all, so. Yeah, I actually what do you say? You always win except when you lose. I lose all the time. I still win. I don't know how you figure that out. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is that? So I'm not sure if you he always hear. won except when he lo lose? Where, where did you hear me say that? <laughs> but uh, our two players are discussing the finer points of X-Wing philosophy. Yeah, and Jay, always Jay says advantage Eric by a slim margin, and uh, I don't know. I think I think he might be right. I think he might be right. I think he's gonna have um, better arcs of fire and better opportunities overall. But we'll see. We'll see. And yeah, Cena. You know, yeah, you, you kind of have to root for Ray. You kind of have to. You don't really have a choice there. <laughs> <laughs> By such a slim mark, like slim enough to have trouble sliding a piece of paper. In. Yes, it's 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 going to be a tight game, in my opinion. Yes, I agree with you on that, Jay. I just hope we don't get any slippery fingers making that. No uh, slippy fingers. Making that margin bump. No slippy fingers. No bumps. That's that's why we have no kicks. Video evidence. That's right. That's, that's the right attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I've already got three. You're already second. So <laughs> at least. And I've got all the prizes and the tokens already, so it's like. Honestly, whatever I win is going to be a Christmas present. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Give it away, yeah. Lorik needs to go. He was nasty to Asajj. Lorik's never nice to anybody. He's a Wookiee. He pulls people's limbs off. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> That's what they do. They roar, they smell like carpet, and they pull people's limbs off. So. I'm interested to know if any of Eric's ships have been destroyed yet this turn. I have not seen any of the ships even uh, get like fully damaged yet. I think that's indicative of... Uh, yeah, you gotta buy the first round. So. Yeah, the the way that this this tournament uh, was ordered. <laughs> Let the Wookiee win. Greed <laughs> <laughs> was at the end of an ongoing league. So based on how players uh, worked out in the league, they either got a buy. Yeah. Uh, and enter in at the quarterfinal stage, so they only have to win three games. Only have to win three games in a row against stiff competition to come Quite. out on top. Uh, but four of our players uh, had to duke it out in a preliminary round in order to cinch the seventh and eighth seed. To qualify for those last seats in the uh, eight-person elimination. Yeah. Oh wow, you got Rebellion for 60 bucks? What a deal! <laughs> that's that's a great game. That's one of those games you just play, keep playing over again and it's never the same. But we're here to talk about X-Wing. I thought it was just Star Wars in general. Oh, I see that! Bumping your ships there. Cheat early, cheat often. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested to see if any of these ships ever actually engage during this game. I think it'll be fifth round before we finally start getting shots here. So. Four, right? it's round four. I don't, still don't think it's shots. It's really tough to determine who would win Oh my god! Yeah, fifth round for shots. Who knew? So in the event that this inevitably comes down to a final salvo, after the first 90 minutes because no one's able to kill the other person's bigs. <laughs> that would just be irony. Eric would be toting eight dice. Yep. Uh, whereas Ray would have the same. He's burdened by that terrible, terrible HWK You're right. with only that one. with a single primary. So maybe, maybe that's the small margin that the viewers would talk about. It could be, could be. Viewers, there's three. And one of them is Zena. 
So Red 5 just got a phone call. He's deacon out for a minute. He'll be back in just a few moments. Right? Yeah, J Jay's got the right idea. If nobody gets any points, declare them both losers and give the prizes to third place. <laughs> How about the last person? I got you. It's only movie prize! <laughs> can't, I can't argue with that logic, Jay. It's solid. Absolutely solid. Yeah, yeah, give the best prizes to the folks at the bottom and the worst prizes to the folks at the top. Watch everybody throw every game. <laughs> Every game ends up final salvo. No, no flying off the board. No flying off the board. Oh, and uh, so are you uh, ninth and ten, or ninth or tenth, respectively? Ninth, okay. <laughs> what did I play last? Uh, I don't know. Know. Did you get a point? I only lost by three points, so I don't think I should be lost. I don't know if points actually matter. I think we're only tracking top four anyway, so. Everyone else just gets some, like, range rulers and other bits and stuff. All right, so they, man, these guys have taken almost half an hour to get their ships into shooting position here. A lot of jockeying and figuring out what's going on. I think Josh is right to add the extra time on here. I agree, I agree. This, uh, this means that it's harder for folks to, to run the clock, not that either of these gentlemen ever do. Um, good, good call the extra, extra time, because they're going to need it. Oh my gosh. It's taking them half an hour to get to shooting. <laughs> 22 minutes. I need a stop clock, like in chess. Totally. Yeah, you know, just because FFG doesn't have floor rolls doesn't mean that local tournaments don't have to have floor rolls. Well, and that's what's great about a local tournament. You can have whatever floor rules you want. <laughs> as long as that's not an official FFG tournament, do what you want. If everyone is in favor, yep. yeah. anyone who is not in favor, say nay. All right, it's, it's official. <laughs> Ray trying to figure out how to skin the Wookiee. Well, it's like eating an elephant one bite at a time, man. In this case, one hunk of fur at a time. So if I'm eating a Wookiee and you just call it a rug, does that make me a rug muncher? I, I ain't going to touch that with a 10-foot pole, man. No, 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 no. This is a family program. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well done, Ray. Well done. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like there it might finally be some shot. Nope. Nope. No, nope. I spoke too soon. Oh, oh, don't. So we need to get no ads now because you said that? It's not there yet. Uh. <laughs> he just said what we were all thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he, he does that. He does that. <laughs> I, I think that what we're all actually thinking is that we need these players to spice it up. Totally. Make this finals more exciting. Kick it up a notch. Well, don't worry. Hey, I flew through a really Put a squeeze of the truck belt and try to spice Put a bam out. of that spice weasel in there. Get it on, man. What are the odds of that? Uh they were pretty good considering you guys both brought big asteroids. So <laughs> Yeah. 
Exactly, exactly. I agree with you very much on that, Gibbon guy. Was I see board? Uh, he said you're playing very smart, forcing him through the rocks, breaking up his formation. Trying to break up the formation. He's doing a pretty good job keeping it together, though. Despite the tight space there. A lot of bump action going on there, though. Well, uh, then you would have been an hour setting up for your shot, man. <laughs> go to final salvo. Go to final salvo. Both players just shake hands and agree to go to final salvo. <laughs> if, if you guys want to, that's a thing we can do. That is, that is legitimately a thing you can do. And there's Miranda. Probably. Swinging herself around. Especially at the end of long tournaments. Yeah. It's like 2 in the morning. It's like the finals. And you look and you're like, yeah, no. You, you get it more often in uh, higher, higher density population areas of X-Wing players. Yeah. Because you might have people competing for the finals. And one of them, you know, he's already got a star championship, so he's got to buy for regionals. The other one doesn't, so they agree to split the prizes yep. in such a way. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's what you're take the trophy and you can have a bar. Yep. It happens. Everyone gets to go to bed. And that, really, that's a thing. Most of us aren't as young as we'd like to be. So, in light of the rigors of large tournament play and the kind of disappointing length of like small tournaments yeah. season 2 of Black Moon League will feature uh, will essentially be a large tournament inside of a league so a distributed tournament in a league format yes awesome so all of the players will have their tournament squad yeah. that they're going to use throughout the league oh so as opposed to the last time where you, you were basically forced to change squads this one is pick your squad and that's what you fly yes okay and you'll play your Swiss rounds uh, with opponents assigned to you once every two weeks. Okay. Over a period of two to three months, depending on what the players want. Okay, get the Swiss rounds done over that th uh, two to three month period. And then we cut. Okay. And the cut will be done on a tournament day like this. Uh, it'll just be a few games, uh, it'll be a short day. Uh, you know, maybe people are gonna go out together afterwards, hang out, celebrate. Yeah. And uh, oh, oh other we got people. some rolls happening here. Oh wow! And shooting. I looks think like, something just took looks damage. like that was a PS12 TLT from the look of it. And that went into who? Miranda. Miranda so, lost one shield. Miranda lost one shield in that exchange. That is a fair trade. Okay, so Miranda's getting into her TLT shots now. She's shooting at, uh, looks like shooting at Rourke. Gonna spend that target lock on the first roll. And one hit. Right, 2655 finally, shots fired. So no, no hits on Rourke, is that? No hits on Rourke, okay. Oh, well, that was first volley though, right? So second volley, he's spending a shield, getting that extra roll, extra die. Three hits, that's going to go through. And so one on Rourke, all right. So that is shield down on Rourke. All right, so it looks like we are down to sweep tokens. All right. And back into dials here. So what was the, what was the outcome of that? Uh, yeah, they each lost one. It was in a, a straight exchange. Oh, that's right. She used her shield to boost. So Miranda actually, technically, Ray got the best of that exchange. But that really wasn't such an exchange. I like the uh, the new layout that you have here. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, overlay. The I, I had to switch to a different uh, overlayer app. I used to use one known as X Wing Overlayer. Wow, remarkably uh, uh, appropriate title. Uh, and this one is now, uh, unfortunately, X-Wing Overlayer has some problems with the Wave 11 stuff. It doesn't parse them properly and just goes crash. Nope, don't know how to read that. Uh, so uh, there's an, uh, some other gentlemen uh, make a, an app 
And uh, this one actually runs locally on my machine uh, as opposed to through a website. Uh, it's known as XStreamer, and uh, it is fantastic. I love it. It way more flexible. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have the scrolling effect on the uh, upgrades. They're just static, and there they are. Uh, and it's a lot easier um, to uh, to be better on your layout. It does require a little more effort to put together, though. Speaking of uh, Wave 11, at the tournament today, we've seen uh, quite a few additions from Wave 11. Quite a few. Uh, that bomblet generator is making a lot of appearances. Yeah, we've seen bomblet generator on two separate Iman Azamin. Yep. Uh, we've seen it on a Constable Zubio. Yes. We've seen it on Miranda Doni. Yep. Uh, There's only one Miranda Doni yep. in this tournament. And we've seen two scum nims. Yep. Uh, two of the pilot skill one uh, Skurg pilots yep. uh, in the same squad with one of the Eamon Azamines. Yep. Our top four uh, was all four rebel players, and there have been no Imperial ships. Not a single Imperial list was, was in the running today. Yay! The well, I don't know if that's yay, but it's definitely... You're, we're seeing, we're seeing. I think, uh, where the shift in the meta for Wave 11 is going to come. Several TIE Fighters, but... No Imperials. No Imperials. Yeah, TIE Fighters, but not Imperial ones. I mean, what? Just wants to try the new bombs. And we have yeah. the, uh, we also have the glorious uh, Lorik riding his Wookiee gunship today. Wookiee gunship, flying that wooden spaceship. Nothing like a wooden spaceship. It's wooden finish. <laughs> like you have in a fancy car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like so it's a, is made of wood. So you're saying Lorik's got a Wookiee. The render is made of wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all made of wood. <laughs> all and made they, of wood. And they burn down. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You light them on fire, and they just steadily scorch themselves down. I'm, I'm having these horrible flashbacks. Yes, flashbacks. but they're stolen Imperial ships. So it's it's not the same. It's just not the same at all. I, I do think, though, that Ray should be penalized for using two Sabine Masterpiece models when the upgrade itself is unique. Thank you. Two bad ships. All right, I'm good. That's a unique upgrade. Well, he's not using Sabine's um, thing on both. Well, it's like I would immediately disqualify someone for running... That's a, the wrong model! ...a gray <laughs> Countess Ryan. It assaults my sensibilities. You're doing it wrong! Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard the word microaggression? Yeah. <laughs> There's an X-wing <laughs> microaggression. Using using the wrong uh, 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 ship. Yeah, using the wrong color of ship. Using the wrong color of ship. C right. Custom repaints are okay as long as they fall in line with uh, something <laughs> canon to the X-wing universe. Yeah. <laughs> or the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> or the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. I see several of our uh, several of our players who are earlier eliminated playing practice games, getting ready for you the very next league. Well, I, there's definitely some great uh, some great lists here. I'm glad that people are doing stuff that isn't the meta, isn't the normal meta. That's just how we roll here. Yeah, in we Victoria. we have a big f the meta community here. Like, except, we're like, wait, you're doing double jump masters? Yeah, not so much. Except yeah. for Eric. Except for Eric. Which is why he wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we have a big F the meta uh, thing going on here. And he was like, yeah, except for Eric. Well, part of being an effective tournament player is building a squad that is very efficient. Yep. Because you, you can take a handicap by playing something that isn't and still win. It's just more difficult. And sometimes you can fly a squad perfectly. It's like just, flying in hard mode. It doesn't come up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes the dice are just like, not today, bro. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to fly somebody somebody's not used to, because you get that surprise level, you don't know how to They're handle your list. Definitely. Sometimes the anti-meta lists are just like, whoa, I don't know. I've never seen that. I don't know how to counter it. I'm not sure if we had any real dark horses here today. Well, Ray's list with the PS12 is not something you see a lot. 
Like, you, you almost never see Rebel Hawks except for Jan. Uh, on the contrary, uh, Rourke was popular for quite a while. He in, was, in conjunction he was. with the Wave 10 release yep. of Rex. Yeah, that's true. Getting Rex to 12 so that he can drop that uh, early was, was great. But using the uh, Astromech to give Big Swarm Leader is, is the big difference there. Yeah, because that gives you double 12s. That really, really can help leverage that early, uh, early round damage. Most people uh, are very scared to run Bigs without some sort of extra damage mitigation. So Rex helps, but if you're facing any other squad with uh, efficient jousting or very heavy hitters, uh, it could uh, it could take a lot of pain. Yep. I, I would have really liked to have played against Ray in the semifinals. Uh, unfortunately, it's just not how it worked out for you. And uh, Eric well, decided I, to just let you have it. I did determine the bracket, so I did it to oh, myself. Okay. <laughs> give me a room, give you a practice room. Yeah. It is a good thing that I w didn't win, though. Because that, that would seem biased. It, it could have. So what you're saying is you threw that match. Is that what es happened? Essentially. Yeah, yeah okay. Essentially. Okay. <laughs> Such good sportsmanship. Yeah. I know he has a very sensitive uh, ego. Yeah. <laughs> no shooting again? I didn't oh, expect it. Looks like it. they are too far away. Oh, oh. Oh, no. We got, we got some... Oh, there's the there's the movement, uh, and it's Ahsoka Tano, Pod Skill Nine with Captured Tie. Yeah, there will still be no shooting. Oh, well, everyone else just went Kabumpa in the big bump train there, and Ahsoka's yeah, way out. Yeah. All right, so that is end of activation then, right? Yeah. So let's measure for that bomb. It's gonna be out. All right, so no nope, bomblet goes off and it's done. Bomblet generator is another supreme tool of the stealthy time waster. Yes, yes, it's true. <laughs> yes, it's like dancing with the stars, only it's uh, shooting. In the stars? I don't know. That, that was lame. Sorry. I feel like Glenn should just, or Stickus should just dress as the villain from Mad Max <laughs> for all of these tournaments that he's judging so that he can look at someone and just tell them that they're mediocre. <laughs> Have a tournament where everybody has to dress up like somebody that they're using. Co a cosplay tournament with like extra points for good costume. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm I'm 100 percent behind that. Yeah. <laughs> Tina. Uh, one one of the things I'm proposing for Black Moon season two is whether people are interested in cosplay related prizes. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, would you like to go to a X-Wing tournament and win uh, an X-Wing pilot helmet. I think memorabilia like that is awesome. And Star Wars related. Star, Star Wars related stuff, I think it's going to fly no problem. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of cool things. We're going to have um, vouchers for painting commissions. LED installations, custom target locks. Nice. Wait, do you say LED installations? LED installations. That's awesome. I've I've been looking at like LED mod stuff on Reddit and stuff, and some people do some amazing things with that. Additionally, the benefit of running these kinds of leagues is that between everyone who's involved, a lot of money goes into it. Mm -hmm. And like any you know, person understands, uh, the rich get richer. If you have the money to get past the initial costs of whatever kind of thing you're trying to do, yep. you can usually find ways to save money. Yep. Uh, for
for example, buying prizes in bulk. Uh, that was a, a big thing for us this yep. season. Um, and there was no yeah, getting those surplus. range rulers and stuff. Yep. So there's, there's no surplus uh, from season one, but we're gonna have uh, surplus prizes. Yeah. So we're gonna spend less money in season two. And one of the things that I'm really excited about doing is running these events and running these tournaments. Uh, I really want to breed co competitive uh, play from our local players and then endorse members in good standing to travel to different x events. Nice. So almost like a sponsorship. Absolutely. Excellent. That's fantastic. And build up the local uh, community to get these competitive players going and then help get them to these tournaments so they can play. That is... Uh, besides just getting together and having a good time and letting the players decide what kind of um, events that they want to run, yeah. um, that is the, like, the secondary function of Black Moon Squadron. So what you're saying is secondary function of Black Moon Squadron is get good. Get good and get out there. Get good, get out there. Awesome. Hmm? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> More Not of a cult. <laughs> Not even remotely. Yeah. <laughs> and they're thinking hard. They're thinking hard. Alex. Ray. No, I'm offering you. Thank you. Josh, but I just flew over five cluster bombs with um, Boss to two damage. Oh. <laughs> Can you throw it out for me? I told you you should have taken Boss today. Yeah, I should have. I'm gonna bring more money for you. Cool. And stop losing already. God. <laughs> okay, there you go. You're you're doing fine, buddy. Don't worry about it. And in a public service announcement to our viewers, one of the key ways that you can stop losing is by not playing anymore. That's right. If you don't, if you stop playing, you can't lose. <laughs> This, this is our official endorsement from That's Defect right. Industries. That's right. So when in doubt, just stop. Just, just give up. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> because what would you be doing if you weren't playing X-Wing? I know. What, you'd play like 40K or something? Probably Ugh. cleaning your house. Yeah. Or like doing chores and actually catching up on life. Yeah. Taking care of kids. Yeah. You know, living. <laughs> Who wants to do that, though? When you could be playing with little spaceship toys. That's right, making little pew pew noises, throwing dice at each other. It's awesome. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to? I, I hope you don't actually throw dice at each other. Uh, no, no, only that's when the heated discussions over how Minefield Mapper worked. <laughs> that's, that's why here at Black Moon we take an authoritarian stance, and at the beginning of uh, an yep. event, I will just make lay it clear. Down the law. These are the rulings. Here's how we, we are playing certain things. I don't care how you interpret it. This is how we're interpreting it. Either because uh, that is the most apt interpretation of the words as they're written on the cards. Yep. Or, you know, everyone's favorite excuse because FFG said so. Like with Minefield yeah. Mapper. Yep. There hasn't been an official ruling, but FFG employees, they've talked about it. Yeah. They've discussed it and said, no, you can't. Not that that's been an issue in this game. No. I, I think we just need to use longer range rulers. So the players can't dodge <laughs> each other all game. Yeah. Everybody gets range five next time. Are you slamming out of range? I think that Miranda is slamming out of range. That looks to be a thing. Where did all of these acrylic tokens come from? Oh, you mean his? Yeah. Um, oh, I just, I don't recognize them from last game. Do you just switch every game? 
These are just extra bonus. Yeah. So your your tokens are from Team Covenant and from where? Applied Perspective. Applied Perspective, okay. These are Team Covenant. These are Team Covenant. And you got the Gatai Gaming um, case, right? The battle case. Yeah. Yeah, so so Eric has run out his, his usual acrylic focus tokens by banking them on Ray. And now has... Uh, and Ray, the other Ray, uh, he doesn't look close to running out of acrylic focus tokens not yet. on the Moldy Crow. He has a lot. That's a lot, a lot. I, th I think that either of these players, should they win... I uh, should take the opportunity to take more acrylic focus tokens. Because clearly they need them. <laughs> and leave, you know, the other less interesting prizes for everyone else. I agree. Yeah, some great prizes today. Lots of acrylics. A couple of great chips. That striker, that striker honestly has me excited. I love tie strikers. Really need to pick myself up two more of them. I've only got one. Yeah, same. I've only got one. I'd like to have three. Well, I, I remember before that when we were getting ready for land to see, one of the big draws for local X Wing players was the rumor. Uh, of how last year the top prize was an epic ship. It was, and the uh, yeah, first year of Lanasy was an epic ship. And here at Black Moon, our first prize uh, is if, an epic ship. If first place so chooses, yeah, is an epic ship. Yeah. So the, these are the kind of prizes you can come to expect. Yep. No, it, it this is great prizing and uh, really a, a good incentive to get people to come out. Oh, so there's someone else who's watching it there. Oh yeah, there's lots of people Three watching. Uh, eight. It, this flickers. Oh, it's eight. This this keeps flicking up and down. This is the number of because uh, I stream on YouTube, Twitch, and on Beam. Oh. Okay. So this is showing that I'm connected to all three of them. And this, for some reason, it just it doesn't update properly. It shows total viewers. But if I go to the live dashboard, we get seven. Oh. Okay. Plus, how, plus probably one or two on Twitch. Yeah, not not everybody chats is the thing. So. All right. So you've got some more almost action. Oh, there you go. Yep, kind of kind of what we figured was going to happen there. W was there shooting last turn? Oh, hey, was there any shots last turn? Nope. No shooting. No, we're actually just out of range. Jeez. E even like with them all. I guess so. Okay, no, just this movement has taken a long time. Well, how is that a riddle? I don't know. One one was Yeah. So one one one. Two, two, one, one, two. Figure out where his tie's gonna get put down. Yeah, that makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, that makes sense. I'll teach you the intelligence stuff. I know this. Am I touching you? No. Go to the door, you can. So we're getting a final ruling on the movement here. Here's Ray, typical, running the clock again. Bomb to yeah. Wookie. Yeah. Tripped, tripped on Wookie fur.
So a little bit of a crazy bump there with the uh, Wookiee gunship. So he's reinforced and pulled his focus off. <laughs> so, so it sounds like he's pushing Rex up to a 12. Oh, really? You're not going to use? You're not going to push Bigs and have Bigs push him to a 12 then, or? Oh, so you did Bigs. Okay, so Bigs and Rex are both 12. So Rex is shooting at these. Yep. Oh. So how much on uh one shield gone? Big's gonna shoot next. Range bigs on bigs, eh? Some bigs on bigs action. <laughs> I promise you, there's, pro there's a fanfic on that. At the beginning of combat, you do it. You, you roar a guy, and then you swarm com uh, swarm tactics, and then you get into shots. So he he roared Bigs, and then Bigs brought up Rex. Okay, but he just didn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No turret. It's an arc. I missed that. All right. So wait, what was Big's shot? Three hits for the cam. Your shot, of, your shot with Big's was a miss, uh, was yeah, it? Yeah, I Oh, wow. And you just took... Yeah, that's range two. Yeah. But the Big's on Big's ended up with nothing, right? Oh! My Big's. <laughs> Two hull left, update. It's like firing at high five left. Yep. Yeah. Did you stop? So two bigs, I guess that's two extra. That's uh, wait, one shift in the final two. Yeah. Okay, no, 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 wait, I have to go back. As a, as a point of interest here, I've noticed that these, uh, these two Rebel players have different tastes when it comes to their damage decks. They do. So Ray is using the 2016, 2017? 2017. 2017 system open series Darth Vader damage deck. Yeah. And uh, why don't we so grab. And, and Eric. Eric is using the. You guys bet your decks, right? There, there was higher stakes on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you won't be able to see it really on stream, but Eric, uh, you guys have probably seen it. We've shown it off on stream a couple times. The Stardust series uh, special uh, custom damage deck with Sabine on the backside. Uh, I, I have one as well. It is not the special Stardust series one, so that one has, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that one actually says Stardust series 2017 on the back. That was for all of the players who made the top eight at Stardust. At Stardust. Series. So. However, you too can own one of these beautiful damage decks. Yep. For the low, low price of six easy payments of ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine. <laughs> what they're, a deal! They're actually just forty Canadian. <laughs> and the link will be in the comments. Yeah, we'll have we'll have that up on the description of the archive. Yep. Anyone who wants one can contact Stickus, and he'll contact me. Yep. You can all you can always reach out. Send me send a, a comment send a, uh, or a uh, uh, message versus uh, via Hangouts or something, and uh, or on the Facebook page, and we'll get you in touch with uh, other Red Five here, so you can get yourself uh, that fancy damage deck. They're not available anywhere else. They they are also the Force Awakens yes. variant of the damage deck. So just so you're aware, so everybody's aware, and they are the up to date wording as well. 
So it's all of the appropriate wording on the Force, Awak Force Awakens damage deck. I have one question. So how did that end up in the end? Your mix. I could. My big took one hole, his big took one hole. Okay. One holes each. If Geek Tech ever wanted me to help them produce one, I would do so. We need one. I may be hitting you up on that for uh, the uh, mustache open that we're planning. So. What about the mustache fire one, Dad? What about the mustache fire? One? Well, yeah, that would be part of the uh, of a custom instead damage deck. Would, instead of console fire, we would reword it as mustache fire. <laughs> so. That's how we have it. Not just using a piece of masking tape. Not a ma not a just the piece of masking tape this time. Yeah. Yes. As I understand, you do have a pretty loyal following. I see the same names all the yep. time. It's it's not a huge following, but uh, the folks that we, that do like us like us a lot. So uh, I think uh, actually Jay uh, Roberts probably um, out and about. But yeah, we got like three or four uh, actually no five regular viewers that just every week they turn in. It's it, you know they're always here. So it's it's always good to see them. We really appreciate them. Honestly, I'm surprised anybody watches things we produce. So. <laughs> <laughs> Also, oh, you do such a good job. Well, I try. I try. No, that one has to be. Some, some of the I'm other I'm streamers. I'm excited to see some thermal detonators this round. Right? Some of the other streamers that are out there, uh, guys like um, uh, X Wing Junkies, uh, do a great job. Um, uh, there's a couple other fo groups I've, that are doing some I've fantastic stuff. I've had to stop stuff. watching X Wing Junkies. Yeah? I, I watch it late at night, and I notice uh, the ma their players making rules mistakes and not being told that they are. Sometimes, yes. And I just, I cringe. It just like, oh, it hurts you inside. Yeah. But then again, you do it too. Um, so. It's true. It's true. I have a question about Josh, the Geek Tech thing. Huh? What's your question? Okay, so you can, can see what server? place you're going to be. We'll I think you're like we'll look into it. Fourth. We'll have like Sarge. Okay. Yep. If we can, we'll have Sarge. My usual place this year. So someone's someone's gonna get to pick, then someone else, then Mikey, and then me, and then you. So look at the. So we're down to thirty-three minutes. What it is you think like. You can look through all the tokens and stuff too. Just don't open them. So if this uh, if this were a normal match, we would go to final salvo because time would be up. Oh and no! No, we'd have 15 minutes left. Oh yeah, we'd have. They, they'd be sorry, really, they'd, they'd be in super left. crunch right now. 18 minutes left. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about. But we still got game. 33 minutes. They got lots of time to finish wrecking each other. Oh, the striker? Yeah. yeah the adaptive ailerons is. Top shelf. If you yeah. choose to, you don't even have to. Yeah, you don't have to aileron them, do you? And then just VI Duchess? Well, Mike, I'm thinking both of these are gone, but that might just scare me off. Mikey's been, been flying other stuff than uh, Scum lately. I've never seen him fly anything other than Scum. <laughs> it's true. It's very, very a few times that he flies anything but Scum. That's pretty much Mikey's like raison d'etre right there. Is like, oh, it's a Scum list. I fly it. It's a C3PO token. It is. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I, uh, there are a lot of tokens like that. Yeah. Uh, C3PO, you'll find Kylo Ren, Palpatine, Boba Fett, Agent Callus. Way better than the Agent Callus token yeah, it's that kind of FFG mean. is putting out. Which is essentially the size of an upgrade card, I think. No, the the Agent Callus token. Don't they actually have like a Callus token? How, how big is the Agent Callus token? Sorry, no, big base size. Yeah. And what's well, rectangular? So it's actually, I think it's good. Yeah, it's about the same size as the base. Oh wow! Is okay. it like a card? Or no, it's no, like a it's, big box of cards. Thick. Well, no, it's like plastic. This oh, because this is one of the the uh, buys yeah, store tournament though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. So it's got that big. And it's yeah, and it and it has yeah. the, just a larger version of the art, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So that that shows you an idea. It's nice, thick acrylic. This is, uh, this is 17 on it. Is that? This is the callus that we have. This is. It's awesome. When did you pick that up? Store champ. Um, that was the last store champ. Yeah, is it top two? Get it. Nice. 
with his helmet. Pretty much the size of any other token. Too bad Whisper's ba like basically unplayable now with Nim being the oh, go up to ten and just drop bombs all over the place. Yeah. Out of blaster turret. I believe. I don't. I think that uh, Whisper with Palpatine and coordinate action is just too good. Yeah. Auto blaster turret on uh, advanced sensors. Nim. I, also I guess. Add yeah. Engine upgrade. Yeah. Or accuracy corrector. Uh, oh, accuracy corrector, auto blaster turret on Nim is going to be awesome. <laughs> I, th I think on Scum Nim that uh, advanced sensors are essential. Because you, you're going to want to bump as much as you can to take less shots. What's that? Oh, yeah, there's the acrylic for the Shadowcaster. Nice. Yeah, that's what you want now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it always It's just too light. It's too light. Yeah. On the, on the Shadowcaster, it has uh, a little right, the, arc indicator. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it's a great ship. I honestly am tempted to pick up a second. I was tempted to pick up a second jump master, but with that impending nerf, nope. <laughs> Only need one now. After all, I was going to do it specifically for a Tani Mindlink, but now a Tani Mindlink is going to be like, no, two ships only. I think that it will render a tiny mind link unplayable. Uh, yes. If if that leak uh, ends up being true, then it yeah. will render a tiny mind link unplayable. I think that. I don't think it's necessarily going to be I unplayable, the, but I think the efficiency is going to drop enough that people aren't going to look at it and go, "Ever, that's not tournament worthy anymore." It, it'll be like saboteur. Yeah. People just won't use it. The crates will still love it, but <laughs> they're crates. Carolina crates, man. I actually bought a second drum master recently. Yeah? Do, do you regret it yet? As long as you don't nerf with any wine link, I won't. Except that that's totally coming. The nerf is going to be two ships only, so. No, because they're doing it to two ships only to stop Paratani. Because reducing it to three is still like, that's fine. I'm only ever going to put it on three ships anyway. Honestly, I think four ship mind link with us, with Sykes is what I'd like to see. Once again, this is only speculation. 100% speculation. We have no idea. A leak that has not been confirmed to be true. I wouldn't mind them putting all that crap on the uh, title for the Drum Master. Except as I close up the illicit. I want it to have the illicit still. I really like the Bone Master feedback. Yeah. And you don't even see it that often. It's not around in our meta. Except now, for Eric. Our, our meta is a weird meta. <laughs> our meta oftentimes is like, oh, that's what everyone else is flying, so I'm going to do something different. <laughs> our meta is often me and Ray with like freaking. Yeah. I think one of the struggles of. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the struggles of our local area is that many of the players are working adults who also have you got family obligations too, right? Other so. responsibilities, and thus, I, not not saying that other people who play X Men don't have responsibilities, but that many people play uh, it. Being on an island, we have a lim more limited pool of players to draw from. Yeah. Whereas, like in Vancouver, for example, they've got. All of Greater Vancouver, plus the Lower Mainland, plus out of the Fraser Valley and stuff. So, so it's a much larger group of players to draw yeah, from. You, you see someone like the other Red Five. Yeah. You see someone like the other Red Five who's probably playing Dash and something else. You see someone like Eric who's probably playing the new hotness meta squads. Yeah. You see someone like Mikey playing hipster scum squads. Hipster scum. So true. <laughs> You know, oh my god, that someone kills like, me. That's, a, that's so good. Someone like Artos is going to have a swarm of some variety. A swarm variety. of Imperials, usually. Or, yeah. Imperials or Rebels. Yeah. He's, uh, he's starting he to He loves his multi-ship multi lists, yeah. And uh, you, know, just, you, you could say that about most players in, uh, in our area. Yeah, you got Larry with his almost never the meta. Uh, oftentimes with like your your tie swarm going on. Or stuff. I, I a think proper a swarm. proper swarm. Like six or seven ships. Exactly. I think I would have more to say about Larry if 
I spent more time looking at his statistics because he he wasn't a part of Black Moon this season. He's filling in for another member who unfortunately couldn't make couldn't it. Couldn't make it today, yeah. Um, so I just I don't have the data on you. Yeah. Well, if I was lived in town, you would, you would, I would we'd see you more here. often. Yeah. And I'm gonna play any ships that have the silver bonus. It doesn't matter which faction. Nobody listens to Scott. He just can't make up his mind. He, he used to be a hipster about Thai bombers, and now he likes Cat Scarlet, but he hasn't actually I actually do plan to do list every time. I get really bored of lists really fast. Well, I get good more games, and I got so many lists that I want to play. That's why you can always find him standing next to the pedestal, but not on it. Except for that one time when a certain player who is a shoot a win uh, misunderstood that he had Connor Nets <laughs> oh, instead no. of Cluster Mines. What, what player was that? Uh, I think it was the other Red Five. Yeah, that, that sounds familiar. And yeah. <laughs> I, I think that experiences like that are important in the development of uh, serious tournament players because it gives you nightmares and you never forget to do that thing. You never... Well, and, and this is what I keep saying on, uh, on stream, is pain is a fantastic teacher. When you when you feel the sting of having forgotten or made a mistake, you don't. You tend not to make that mistake again because of that pain. So it, it really sort of solidifies, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm terrible about learning my lesson, though. Apparently I'm a masochist, so... I feel like when you get so many concussions, you forget your... Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> this this mashup of ships is just disgusting. This is a hella hella bump fest going on. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, dropping the thermal detonator. Thermal detonator. There's the bomb drop, Sabine. Love it. I love it. That's fantastic. Everybody gets stress. So Ray, Ray is hitting three of his own ships and two of his opponent's ships. I believe, I believe the phrase you're looking for is, honey badger don't care. So. Honey badger don't care. Alright. Okay, so end of activation we got... Oh, Jesus. Everybody's taking one except for... Except for your bigs and his Sabine, eh? So, considering the length of these turns and the fact that we have 23 minutes left, I'm going to say that we're two turns away from the end of this game. You think so? I think so. Okay, so Lorik has taken one. Unless ships start going down and we can see players spending less time looking at dials and less time moving their ships around. Your bigs took one, correct, uh, Ray? Yeah. Everyone took one. No, it's, it's Ray's Biggs. That's, this is Ray's Biggs. Yeah. Uh, your Rourke took one. And your Rex took one as well, didn't it, Ray? Yeah. Oh, Sabining on Miranda. So before it exploded, you hit Miranda for one? Well, Miranda's taking two damage instead. Oh, Miranda's taking two this time. Okay. I don't think I actually did Miranda. There we go. So that's going to be her last two shields then, right? I hate when Miranda runs out of shields. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Miranda, even Miranda hates it when she runs out of shields. <laughs> it's so sad because you're like, oh, I got the perfect shot. Oh, I can't take a shield away. I guess I'll shoot two, two dice. Yep. All right. so that leaves down. two on Rex, three on Garnet. His Biggs has one, and Ahsoka is still fresh. Lorik is still doing fantastic with uh, eight hit points. Miranda's got shields down, and Biggs has two hull left, and a ton of stress just slung out. So I, uh, I think I'm ready to call this match. Yeah, we're gonna have a rebel champion. <laughs> oh, man, that was a tough call. I was Are you sure about that? I. I was sure about that. Are you sure? One final game ago. answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, you were sure about that one round ago. I knew an entire round ago. Wow. How this. That there'd be go. a rebel winner. Yeah. <laughs> now the question is, will it be Miranda or Ahsoka on the uh, on the podium at the end? 
Has that bomb exploded? Yeah, bomb. The bomb has exploded, correct? There you go. All right. And that was another shot on Miranda, one hole. Bigs to Bigs. Do it up, Bigs. Mustache power. Totally. The power of the mustache compels you. Three hits and a crit. Wow, sounds like a dead Bigs here. I don't know. I oh no, he's still got selflessness on. Uh, I, I hit Bigs with a lot of four dice oh. attacks last game. Oh man! Hopefully our players don't forget about simultaneous shooting. Yeah, there is si there is that simultaneous fire rule, of course. Oh. But if they forget, no, we're not going to tell because them. he bounced him to 12. Oh, that's right. Biggs is shooting at Biggs is shooting 12. at 12, so there's no simultaneous fire at 12 here. And thus we see the strength of Ray's squad. Yep, and so there's one dead Biggs. PS killing. Yep. Make, this is a roll your own aces build is what this is. <laughs> I think, however, we are going to see the same exchange on the other side, though. Ray's Biggs Possibly, is yes. cheaper. Whoa! <laughs> there you go, okay. What is going on? Uh, he doesn't know either, that's the thing. <laughs> it's Ray, it's chaos. Carnage in a bucket. Yeah. So that was your scavenger crane roll? Right now, Ray is deciding whether he wants to shoot with a Sokotano. Yep. And I say that he should use his aggressive nature, though I, I hesitate to call him a boy. He is easily the age of everyone here combined. <laughs> <laughs> As evidenced by the grayness in his beard that he showed the other day. I'm not in range one, I am not going to shoot. So it's only worth it if you're in range one, you figure, eh? Right? They would have been worth it if I was in range one on the one yeah. agility ship with four hull net. So now we drop to eight. Do it. Use your aggressive. So Miranda's regenning. I think that he should trust. So Miranda got a shield back on that, right? And her green dice. You didn't you sack a dice for an extra? Okay, now you're sacking. Oh, you got weapons failure, don't you? No. Oh, suppressive fire. Yeah, so Eric is doing something that I always tell people they should do on Miranda, which is if you're going to sacrifice one of your dice to regen a shot on twin laser turret, you do it on the second attack. Second attack. Because if you have any, and this only matters if you have dice mods. Yeah. So if you have any dice mods, you really want to know whether you're going to be able to get one good attack in yeah. the first time. Yeah. Because if you roll two dice and you get say one focus or two focuses you know you, you don't know if if you're going to be able to squeak damage through on that oh that's two both bigs no more if the first one hits and you could not take the shield and try for the kill no more mustache power for ray absolutely so that is uh, however if you are planning on using a shield you should use it on the first attack Oh man! Currently, there is a one point difference between the two of them with. Um, your base was worth one more point. <laughs> so close! So we're down to, down to 15 minutes left, 16 and a half. Steal your thumb. Oh, and then you put that under the end here. The extra minutes, you guys are still. Yeah, those, those, that extra time it really uh, is paying off here, getting us a really great match. Woo! I am interested to see, however, hmm? how 
the bomb light generator yeah. on Miranda is going to pay off on this next move. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how that's going to pay off. A crit I think, could spell the end I think of he may Tano. have forgotten what's on there. Ray? Ray. Yeah. So who got hit? Nothing. He evaded both shots. Ha <laughs> ha! Good on you. So we got Lowrick still with eight hit points. We got Biggs dead. Both Biggs are dead. Yeah. Miranda's back to five. Because the regen. Right? Yeah. Uh, Ahsoka is at three. Your Biggs is dead. Uh, Rourke is three. And Rex is two. Correct? Rex has two. Rourke has three. And Ahsoka is still fine. Which is not a whole lot, but she's still fine. Mine. You can have a look if you want. I, um, have a look. Practice, Check the cards. Played, uh, have a look at my cards. That's it. That's the one. I was thinking about doing the, the Miranda name. I really wanted to test it. I didn't practice it at all. Yeah. I really wanted to test it. I knew that I could play, but then. Dash. Oh, man. That dash. That dash. It counters, counters that car my cargo drop shenanigans. Oh, I know, right? Because he's like, oh, did you just drop debris? That's cute. <laughs> I didn't even drop it. What are you, dropping garbage in front of me? <laughs> dash is a garbage man. Didn't you know that? <laughs> dash the garbage man. <laughs> Just taking out the trash. He he's already pretty trashy, that's for sure. <laughs> taking out the trash. Taking out the trash. <laughs> All the scum and villainy around. We dash there. Just to totally take out the right. Trash. I really love how Eric has mounted his K wing. It just throws people off. It looks like it's gonna fly off towards the, uh, the uh, uh, far end of the board, but she's actually facing off to the left right now. Mm -hmm. So, now that pisses people off sometimes, because they look at the ship, not the base. Yeah. Trixie with magnets. Yeah. I swear it's not on purpose. It's just, <laughs> it's too long to super glue the peg no, back on. The way I've always looked at it is, if you're looking at the ship to figure out what direction I'm going, you're doing it wrong. I'll always look at the base. The base is all that matters, ever. All about that base. I, I, I think it's a little bit dirty. So the the penalty in MOV should be at least the penalty that Ray faces for having two Sabine's masterpiece <laughs> cards. So DQ is what you're saying. No, putting, putting them back on an even field and uh, allowing their, their piloting and their dice to win them the day. Yep. Or not. Right now, Ray is... Uh, he has three ships, so he has a good excuse to take a long time to drive these turns. That's right. That's if right. he doesn't lose another the ship, he's... <laughs> Boy, he's getting sensitive. He must I, be hitting the mark. I think it's because it's the first the first turn that he has ahead in points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? This game would be over in rigor time right now. I know, I know. We'd be calling it, and uh, they'd be going at... Oh, yeah, they'd be, we'd be counting points. I'm, I'm very happy that we didn't spend two hours. That would be a Ray win. I still think it's going to go to time. I'm... 12, 12 minutes. minutes. <laughs> a somewhat disappointing final. No, it's it's been a really close match. These gentlemen are really strategically flying. When when you think about um, the, there's a term that's that's thrown around in X-Men, uh, and it's it's no fault of the players here. They were encouraged to bring very competitive squads. You betcha, and they have uh, is negative play experience. Oh yes, NBE. And this is the fault of the game's designers, not the players who play the game. Yep. Uh, I, I'm not going to say that other thing because I'm not in a rap music video. <laughs> um, but Biggs Darklighter, we've been waiting a long time for that ability to get nerfed or changed. Modified with, in some way. But with each new release of X-Wing, 
he seems to only get stronger in in the way that players hate. Yeah, like currently the low Rick Biggs thing is just people are frothing at the mouth about that. They are so mad. It's not just low Rick, it's it's also the existence of self selflessness. Selflessness itself, period. So you you have um, it's forcing the spread Kanan of the with damage. with Biggs, you have selflessness with Biggs. Uh, the always um, present, draw their fire. Yeah. You have Captain Rex, especially if you mix him with Roar. Yeah. You have Low Rick. There's just, there's no end of ways to make sure that rebel ships don't die to primary weapon attacks. Yep. That's why I need bombs. That's why bombs. And, and bombs are always getting stronger. Yeah. Right now, that that is the counter to Biggs right now, though, is area of effect bombs. Bomblet generator and um, the uh, on-reveal bombs. I think we're going to see that a lot more because it's going to wreck Biggs and everybody around him. And sure, it's not going it, to keep people from spreading that damage out as badly. Something that I think... Um, has been a, a big kind of untapped resource is the existence of Boba Fett crew. You, you hear about people using it sometimes and a lot of people are scared to build their squads in a certain way. Uh, I'm looking at like Kane and Diggs players yep. uh, or anyone who runs a, an expensive ghost with a shuttle on it yep. because this card exists. Uh, but it's generally underused. Well, it's really underutilized because there's... A lot of people look at it and they go, oh, it's a discardable card, it's a discardable crew card, is it really worth filling my crew slot with something that's going to get one use only? Though, but it can be so powerful. It can be. Yes. Things, that, things that are one use only um, are all the rage. Countermeasures. You bet. Countermeasure. Uh, countermeasure scavenger once, crane is what I'm seeing a lot though. Once lauded as a useless upgrade, has been credited with winning, or at least being the the defining factor in squad building, not in in the actual play. Yeah. Uh, for the winner of the European Championship. Yep. Um, so the, those kind of one and done upgrades, uh, like selflessness, yep. can have a big impact. Well, in how huge. a squad works. Huge. Uh, in, in, in squads with bigs, like, I, I could even be tempted to, I, instead of here, using it on Miranda's TLT, like people might be tempted to do, uh, you could use it on bigs and get rid of R2-D2. Looks like we're going to get two... Oh, man. We get two dice from... Okay, so just before it explodes, you Sabina? Because it's before it explodes. Is it when the tank explodes, I pick which target? Just before it explodes, you pick a target, yeah. and that one takes an extra damage. Oh, Roar, so that's what I'm trying to do. There you go. So Roar took two. And then Sabine, one. So that was Rourke the, is uh, down to one hit left. And that was the bomblet generator. That was that the bomblet saw. generator bomblet going generator off. And really good. that bomblet generator is great. And I'm really happy to see it. I kind of regret not bringing my Deathfire build out. Oh, yeah? I'm loving Deathfire now. Deathfire is awesome. Bomblet generator Deathfire is legit. That is legit. Yeah. Well, you, you essentially get unlimited... Barrel, barrel roll. Well. Yeah. You get a bomb and a barrel roll. Yeah, because you drop, barrel roll, roll go. Much every turn. Yeah. Who would yeah. think that changing uh, bombs to make them stronger would actually make, make people fire. think uh, about Tide Punishers again? I'm not saying play with them oh, or man. be competitive with them. Bomb like generator and bomb. the new unguided rockets, are, I think, are actually going to make Punisher is useful again. Uh, especially death fire. Yes. Yeah, and like weight frames, you don't need the I think yep. I think they're going to make Tide Bombers useful and competitive, but not type Punishers. I think we will see some Punisher builds while people try to figure it out. Um, I, I agree with you. I don't think it's going to stay a part of the overall meta, but I think we're going to see a lot of experimentation. I think it's going to be the one pilot. Uh, again, I think Deathfire, yeah. just the fact that you get the free barrel roll. I can see that. I can totally really see good. that. Like, I actually, my other list I was going to bring today was just like a like a classic, you know, three of your races, like Defender SF, but instead of the third Defender, I was going to throw Deathfire in. Cause you're so what, do, what do we have for hits here, guys? We got a dead... 
Got a dead work coming up here? Uh, I looked at the MOV and he has higher MOV. Dead Rourke! I'm gonna play with the fidget spinner. It's actually the first time I ever picked one up. Actually, I should say second. I picked it up like five minutes ago. You should feel but dirty. the first time today was the first time I picked one up. Do wow, you do? so yeah. you got a dead Rourke? I feel like I did. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, correction. I is gonna get understand that I do. Uh, to say that you <laughs> feel something isn't any kind of an argument or an indication of anything, really, because, like, how relevant are people's feelings? Oh, you took your... So you used scavenger crane to bring back your... They're not. Okay. In, in short. I'm just going to forever be your nemesis because of those Connor nets. Oh, Connor nets. Wah, boo! <laughs> All right, gentlemen, five I'm and really a quarter like minutes left. I'll, for, I'll forgive you. Stuff, uh, Connor Nets, which is kind of disappointing. I'll forgive you the next time I win a tournament. Yeah. I but up, until then, I'm going to be a jerk. I, I also want to pick up more Ruthlessness just to make an Imperialist, just to have to counter with Faith, because you got to stay within that range one and you can do the extra damage. Yeah, yeah or drop the bombs in. Or you just, you know you what? just you stick Ruthlessness. You might be seeing Missiles and stuff again. You just, ruthlessness on a, def like a Typhi Defender is amazing. I think you could put it on Zeta Leader and have a have a nice time. Yeah. Zeta Leader allowing you to pump out three dice at the expense of just taking um, a stress. And then you've got, uh, what's Ruthlessness? Two points? So you've got a 22 point ship that counters big squads. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah. Thank you for that, Larry. I like it. I like it on the tie D as well because you get the you can ruthlessness twice in one turn. Yeah, I, I got a I got a two tie defender that's ruthlessness right now. But I, I think I want to add a third ship of ruthlessness, right? To make I think tie Ds aren't durable enough for the points that you spend. On them. They just they cost more than tie X sevens and they're easier to kill. Uh, All right. So, I'm seeing two TIE fighters up against a K Wing and an Ozatuck gunship. They managed to take it last round when you sent the TIE fighter left. Uh, there's a ship gone. Which one? Rourke. Oh, he's gone already. That's yeah. why he's got yeah. the X there. Yeah. So, Glenn, what do you think? Oh, yeah. Rourke is... Uh, Stacking Rourke some was... 31 points. 31 points! Chickens. Yes. What do you think? Stacking up some ruthlessness is a good fix counter? Just, just Ooh, one. Ruthlessness. I think yeah. you just need one ruthlessness. That's all you... Yeah, I agree. One ruthlessness is enough. You're talking about you don't either double tapping on the defender with it or just like a tie fighter with it. Just so to like really screw up your opponent. You're just a team of cluster missiles. Is it is it actually one or two points though? Or is it, it is three? Yeah, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, maybe it's three. It is two, but maybe it's three. I see how it is. I, I think it's two, but maybe it's three. I don't do that often. It's three. It's three. No one ever uses it, so no one knows. Well, I've got it on one of my lists. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've got it in a tie. I've got a tie D three tractor beam list. Yeah, the tractor beam still hurts. Me. Oh, exactly, exactly, right? Yeah, ruthlessness, ruthlessness is three. three points, yeah. yeah. So Zeta leader with ruthlessness is a twenty three point ship. Uh, That's not bad. I, th I think that that would be the best. <laughs> Zeta leader platform. is the additional is attack dice, right? right? You're using the one you fire twice, and you also got custom missiles on top of it. So all my shots here? are two we shots. Yeah. You'd only be able to pump it once. Again, all right. it counts as one attack that you perform twice. Does Epsilon Ace have a new pilot talent? Guy goes to pilot skill. Oh, is it no shields on Miranda? No, he has not. Oh, low risk still. I like Rich's list with the tie D. There you yeah, go. I do too. Yeah. It's so deadly. Yeah. But it's a big target. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's because you're sinking a bunch of points in. Yeah. And you're not, because you're doing tight E title, you're not getting that free evade, so you're nowhere near as tanky. Last turn. 
I wonder if he'd be good on the uh, double yeah. edge. He's minute ten, guys. Minute ten. Effect, hmm? So he kind of gets two shots at it. Yep. Could be pretty good. Yeah, uh, double edge with TLT and uh, uh, the unguided rockets is going to be awesome. I like him just with unguided rockets. Mm -hmm. Make him cheap. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I just like the idea of shoot with the rockets and then you follow up with the TLT. I think just five high shots with unguided rockets and then different crews. So they can't take the rockets? They can't take the rockets with the crew. You take four, t four TIE bombers with rockets and one shuttle. With, uh, with support with hawks on it. With hawks, yes. You give all the focus <laughs> out to the rockets. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't take hawks. It has to be fleet officer. Because there's no crew above. Just oh, three yeah. Off oh, yes. spec, yes, perfect. Now you're on it. I did build a uh, a Captain Jonas TLT aggressive. This last turn, guys. Ten seconds. Coming up on the last bit. There's only one damage card on it. I think you're gonna Eric, take this, buddy. I think Eric's got it again. Twice in a row now. Can't kill Miranda. Wow. That is time. Finish it off, gents. All right. Good game, guys. Good game. Woo! So 59 to 29 for Eric. Congratulations on the win. Well played, guys. All right, so uh, thanks for joining us, folks. We, we're going to cut out here for a moment, and I'm just going to switch to a different camera, and uh, we'll be back in just a moment.